Hey guys, Blake here with Torque Boards, and today we're going to be assembling a single mechanical kit which can be used to build your very own DIY electric skateboard. This build is a lot of fun and it will allow you to build the main mechanical components that allow your electric skateboard wheels to move forward, brake, and even ride in reverse. This med kit isn't the entire build and is only specifically the single mechanical kit portion of a full complete build. We'll have another tutorial for the full build, but yeah, included in this kit are all of the mechanical components to make a single motor electric skateboard and you're going to get the following in this kit and that's everything you see below right here so first off we got this set of two 18 millimeter trucks one rear truck and one front truck for our setup next up we have our v7 motor mount here with its corresponding v7 two-piece motor mount clamp uh, followed up by all the bolts to attach all that together and next up we have our ABEC or Kegel drive wheel pulley combo kit and inside that we have our ABEC or Kegel drive wheel pulley in this case we are using Kegel with this specific setup so here is our 36T 15mm Kegel drive wheel pulley with its corresponding Kegel retainer ring and we got bolts for that here um, next up in this we have the 15T 15mm motor pulley and followed up in this combo kit here is our torque boards 370 millimeter 15 millimeter belt and then we have right here one set which is four pieces of our 110 millimeter torque wheels or depending on which kit you got your wheels could be different but yeah for this set we're using these blue wheels here and then last but not least in this kit we have our longboard accessories kit so this just consists of standard bearings deck bolts three millimeter shock pad risers and bearing spacers and the tools and supplies required to assemble this kit are just some hex bits or hex screwdrivers. And we're gonna need three millimeter, four millimeter, and, and five millimeter bits for all the different parts we'll be using. And right here, uh, we find these very easy to use, these longer T tools with leverage. And yeah, we got three, four, and five millimeters right here. So, yep, we are good to start assembling our mech kit. So, let's do it. So, first off, what we'll wanna do is assemble the drive wheel pulley. We've included a separate video for both ABEC and Kegel drive wheel pulley installations as it's its own little process. And in this video, they are already assembled. As you can see right here, here's the fully assembled wheel pulley here already done. We'll be using one of the 4X wheels in our set for each of the drive wheel pulleys in this single mech kit. So yeah, we just have one wheel done right here. That's all we need. Next, we can go ahead and assemble our two-piece clamp together with the motor mount bolt kits right here. So you're going to want to make this shape right here with the clamp, as you can see, and you don't want to mix them up and make that weird shape right there. So yeah, this is the shape that fits around the truck properly. So what we're going to want to do is take these 6x40 socket cap bolts, our biggest ones in this bolt kit, and we're gonna follow up with a washer on the end of this to protect the clamps. And what we're gonna wanna do is insert this through the top of each hole right here on the top piece of the clamp. And this is going to fit through the other side and your bolt is going to stick out through the bottom. And what we're gonna do is take these lock nuts right here that go along with these bolts and we're just going to softly tighten everything down for now as we'll need to make minor adjustments for spacing and whatnot once we have more stuff put together. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for the other side here. And once we have this done, we can go ahead and attach the motor mount here to the clamp we just set up. So what you're gonna wanna do is align the holes along right here with the four holes on the clamp. And once you have those aligned, like so, what you're gonna wanna do next is take your M5 by 30 millimeter button cap bolts and just like the bolts from before, you're gonna follow these up with a washer to protect, to protect the mounts and everything. What you're gonna wanna do is stick this through the, the outside of the mount and push it through the other side of the clamp here. And just like before on the clamp, you're gonna wanna follow up with a lock nut to secure everything together. Okay, so now we have our motor mount and clamp put together onto our truck hanger. And before fully tightening everything, all the bolts right, you'll want to test fit the motor mount and confirm the angle by test fitting it onto the truck first. And you wanna make sure the motor mount angle fits with the deck you're using. 
and that it doesn't get in the way of anything while it's hanging off right here and hitting your deck or whatnot. And once you've decided where you want the angle, just simply secure all of your bolts to lock everything into place a little bit. You can keep everything a little bit slightly loose until the end when everything is on here so you can make all of your final tightening adjustments once you have the correct spacing and all that stuff you want. But yeah, uh, for now we can just tighten these um, slightly because we're going to have to adjust this a tiny bit once we get the uh, wheel on. All right, so to attach the wheel pulley to the motor mount on our truck, we'll have to use a motor that is not included in the standard mech kit. So we can install this 6355 190 kV motor here using the rest of the bolts that we have from our bolt kit. And these are just four by eight millimeter socket cap bolts. And we're gonna follow these up again by washers that are actually gonna get screwed into these motors. The screws are first going to fit through these four outside holes right here around this bigger hole. And that's going to end up securing the motor to the V7 motor mount right here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the motor and this motor shaft right here is going to be inserted through the back side of the mount right here through this middle hole between the other four smaller holes which I just showed you guys before and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to position these motor wires inside this little pocket on the back we can go ahead and do that and once we have this fitted properly what you're going to want to do is line up the holes on the motor right here with the four holes on the outside of the motor mount here and yeah, you might not be able to see the holes aligning because the lighting right here, but yeah, now you're gonna wanna take your four by eight millimeter socket cap bolts and secure everything together. So we'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you guys what that looks like after. All right, so here's how our motor should look attached to the motor mount. And now that our motor is on, we can go ahead and attach our 15 T 15 millimeter motor pulley here onto the motor shaft, which actually just slips on pretty easily. But first, what you'll want to do is insert a motor keyway, which actually comes included with all of our motors. And yeah, this just pops in really easily to the motor shaft keyway slot right here, as you can see. So we'll just drop that bad boy in and you're going to want to follow that up by sliding this motor pulley on over it and you're going to position the top piece right here you can see there's a little bit extra allocation for the motor keyway right there so you're going to position that right with the motor keyway and you'll also want to make sure guys that you leave a tiny gap in between the motor pulley here and the outside of the v7 motor mount itself so this doesn't spin against the motor mount and damage the motor pulley so yeah, leave a tiny bit of gap and once you have that aligned what you're going to want to do to secure this from not moving around is you're going to want to take your tool and tighten these two bolts around the motor pulley so yeah we can go ahead and do that so then we can position our belt here around the truck hanger and the motor pulley so we'll just hang this over the hanger right here and the other end of the belt will loosely fit over the motor pulley here and next we have to slide our wheel with the wheel pulley installed onto it onto the hanger here. And what you're gonna wanna do is get your belt hooked onto the teeth of the wheel pulley right here. What you're gonna wanna do is slowly turn your wheel until the teeth on the belt catch the teeth on the wheel pulley. And yep, you can feel it lock into place like that. And now you can tell that the belt is aligned properly with the teeth on the wheel pulley so yeah what you're going to want to do next once your wheel is fully onto your truck axle and hanger is you're going to want to follow this up by a washer and a lock nut and then you're going to want to tighten this with a t-tool to secure the wheel properly to everything and then once that is done you are going to want to leave about a 1 to 1.5 millimeter gap in between the V7 motor mount here and the wheel pulley because you're not going to want stuff to grind against each other. So you can move this a little bit because we still have those bolts a tiny bit loose. So once you get the proper distance and spacing figured out that you want, um, what you're going to want to do is fully tighten and secure these bolts here to lock everything into place. But real quick, before you fully tighten everything, as you can see now, this allows the motor to spin with the wheel. And as the wheel turns, you want the belt to be straight and not pushing or pulling the pulley or drive wheel to one particular side or anything like that. 
and you can have it slightly pulled in towards the middle of the deck as we have guards on our drive wheel and motor pulleys. But yeah, so this belt is loose right now as you can see and to get proper belt tension what you're going to want to do is make sure your motor is loose right here by loosening these bolts a bit if you tighten these beforehand. And what you're going to want to do is then pull the motor as close to you as possible with some force and at the same time uh, what you're going to want to do is tighten these bolts back down and yeah when you're pulling this motor it's going to cause the belt to create tension and you're going to want to lock that tension in place by securing these bolts and yeah so now we're going to do all that and i'll show you what this looks like fully secured and tightened afterwards and what it's supposed to look like for you guys okay, so here is our single mech kit fully complete and installed and how everything should end up looking like for you guys um yeah that about wraps it up for this video on our single mech kit assembly feel free to like comment and subscribe for more content coming soon it really helps out and yeah we'll see you next time thanks